Hello everyone, welcome to the Rusty Traveler. Today we are going to focus on the baby animals of Africa. A bit of a little Christmas special for us. So sit back and enjoy. I mean, seriously, who doesn't love a baby animal? Whether it's an ugly little baboon baby, or a big elephant baby, or a graceful zebra baby. Let's take a look. On a recent trip to Africa, we traveled in what is known as calving season. That's when all the animals get together and produce babies. So everywhere we went, we saw baby gazelles, baby zebras, uh, ugly little baby baboons, <laughs> baby elephants, you name it, we saw it all. So we're gonna take a look at what we saw and what's out there. But let's start with the king of the beasts. How about lions? And uh, everybody knows what a big daddy lion looks like, but what about the babies? Where do they live? Well, the mummies put the babies in the underbrush and keep them in there to keep them safe. And uh, they're never far. They're always close, out in the sun, uh, warming themselves up because uh, raising babies is very, very tiring work. Ask your mom. She's going to tell you. So guys, in Africa, there's no shortage of big animals, from hippopotamuses to buffalo. So baby elephants, they like to play. They like to run and jump and pile on each other and slip in the mud and you name it. I know a lot of times when you see them on TV, they're just walking behind their mom. But when you go to Africa and you see them there for a long time, you notice the baby elephants, they're a lot like kids back home. They want to play, they want to be with their friends, they are so comical, and they are incredibly cute. Here's a couple just uh, living it up in the mud. Well, two animals that you see a lot of when you go to Africa are baboons and zebras. My goodness, the baboons are everywhere, and usually in large troops. That's what they call an extended family of baboons. And with that, they'll be the old grumpy ones. <laughs> they'll be the mums, the dads, and the babies. And they are very cute. Though I have to say that when they're newly born, they're not all that cute. But let's take a look. So one activity that baboons take part in a lot is grooming each other. The mums constantly groom the babies, and the adults groom each other. And this is a way of bonding. And also, uh, the, the mothers will take care of any mites or insects or bites or things they're checking their babies making sure they're all okay so it might remind you of your mom combing your hair before you have to go out and you're like get off of me now for zebras a commonly asked question about zebras is why do they have stripes it doesn't seem like a very creative way to hide out in the uh, uh, serengeti but what it is for is when they're together in a large group they look like one large animal and the predators cannot tell where one leaves and another one starts. So that's the uh, science behind it. Okay, I get it now when I see them in a big group. <laughs> uh, gives me a headache and you cannot tell where one leaves and the other one starts. So camouflage check. It works for zebras. Now let's look at the babies. One of the many challenges of uh, filming or photographing animals in Africa is that a lot of them are prey animals. In other words, they're not predators. So they are very shy. So when you get close to them, they turn around and walk the other way, which makes for some really lousy pictures of basically animal backsides. So here's a baby that wanted to look at us. So everybody, what is the tallest animal in Africa? No, you're wrong if you said elephant. The tallest animal in Africa by far is the giraffe. And I did mention to you that when they see you, the animals want to go away. So this is what happens a lot. This was a walking safari we went on. So we're not in a vehicle. We're actually just walking uh, on the savanna. And the animals are a little surprised to see you just show up in their world. So if they can get away, they will. Here's a question that everybody asks. Why are giraffes so tall? They're so tall because they've evolved to eat the leaves off the tops of the trees. You can see how that works out. Here's a little group of teenage giraffes just hanging out. And does anybody know what these are called? Anybody? How about what they call them in The Lion King? These are called in Swahili, Pumba. Yes, 
all those words that you learned in the Lion King are actually real Swahili words that mean the names of animals. So a lot of people don't realize that. And even Akuna Matata is a, a Swahili word, which means don't worry, take it easy. So these are also called warthogs and uh, they are so cute. Oh my goodness. Now here's a full grown daddy warthog. You can see by those tusks that they could do some serious damage. The tusks on the warthog are used to protect the babies and themselves from predators. Something you don't want to mess with. When you see the Pumbas, you really want to take one home. One of the little cute babies, but the problem is they grow up into big warthogs with tusks. So they wouldn't be good around the house. They'd mess on the carpet and make your mother very angry. Well, here's a baby gazelle. Uh, gazelles protect themselves by being very, very fast runners. And my favorite, another baby elephant. I can't see these cute things enough. It's just, they get cuter and cuter. If you like Dumbo, come to Africa and you'll see the real Dumbos wandering around the savannah with their families, like this. This is a family of elephants. Now you'll notice some of the elephants have broken tusks. That's because the elephants in the wild use their tusks as tools to dig for roots and break tree branches off. Uh, they do a lot of damage. You wouldn't want one of these guys in your backyard. You'd have nothing left. But that's why they get broken. They do continue to grow through their lifespan. But as a general rule, the, the elephants with the longer tusks are the oldest elephants. Well, thanks everybody for watching The Rest of Traveler today and seeing our video on the baby animals of Africa. If you've enjoyed this video, please be kind. Subscribe, turn on your notifications, and share it out with some friends. Let other people see how beautiful these animals are. Thank you for watching The Rusty Traveler today and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the road.